Did you know your body can produce nearly two litres of gas every day? And this comes out either by burping or farting. And now to our lab, but this time we've hidden it in a top secret location. So secret that even Zand doesn't know where it is. What are you doing? It's time for some amazing experiments. Just don't try anything you see here at home. Today, we're finding out what happens when you burp. Oh, oh. Zan, what are you doing? You know that I've expressly forbidden you from burping in the lab. No, Chris. Today, I am allowed to burp because today's lab is all about burping. Burping is something we all do, no matter who you are. And there's even a medical name for it, eructation. Burping is a very important bodily function. All burps are made of gas that your body wants to get rid of. It might be because you've swallowed air, because you gobble your lunch too fast, like Zand, or it might be carbon dioxide from chemical reactions in your stomach, or from the bubbles in a fizzy drink like this. <coughs> Now, the rumbling sound of a burp is caused when gas escapes through your esophagus or food pipe. Now, the internet says that the sound actually comes when it passes over a very important body part just here in your throat called the epiglottis. This stops food from going into your windpipe when you swallow. But we don't think that the internet is actually correct. So we want to find out where does the noise of a burp actually come from and what would happen if you didn't burp at all. Let's find out. To show you where a burp comes from, we're going to film an actual burp from the inside. Pardon you. Never in all of human history has anyone ever filmed a burp from the inside. Really? Yes, that really is true. We're going to use a special camera to look down my throat. But don't you go sticking anything down your throat. We can only do this because we're doctors. Away we go. So now we can see inside Zahn's mouth, and then as we go back, you can see the dangly bit at the back of Zahn's mouth, the uvula. And this little flap of tissue here is Zahn's epiglottis. Hello, Zahn's epiglottis. Ah. Uh -oh. Now keep your eye on the opening of the esophagus. <coughs> and there it is, a burp! A world's first, a burp on camera. As the air burps out, the soft tissue at the top of the esophagus is flapping while the epiglottis does nothing. So we have proven burping is not the epiglottis flapping, it's the soft tissues at the top of the esophagus. Take that, Internet, you're wrong. But we're not stopping there. Remember, burping is a perfectly natural body function, although it's not polite to burp loudly like Zand is doing in this experiment. But what would happen if you didn't burp at all? Well, Chris, put these on and I'll show you, because I am about to introduce you to a fearsome new machine. Meet Dr. Zahn's amazing eruptation machines. Ta-da! Well, show me how it works. Here, we have kitchen vinegar. We're going to take this and pour it through here. Now, in the model, this bit represents the back of your throat, and the food is going to flow down the esophagus, the food pipe, into our stomachs. These balloons contain bicarbonate of soda, which will react with the vinegar and produce gas, and we will get burping. So how does it work? Let me show you. The liquid goes down the throat into the esophagus, and this is what happens when you drink. Your esophagus fills up. We close that valve at the top, which is what happens when you swallow, and then we open this valve, the esophageal sphincter, and we let the food into the stomach. And then we can see it already, gas bubbling up, the chemicals in the food reacting with the chemicals in the stomach. You can feel a bit of rumbling. You can feel a burp coming. You relax. This valve at the top, which is the cricopharyngeus muscle, and... Ooh! <laughs> that is excellent. But you asked me what would happen if you couldn't burp, and now we're about to find out. So get your vinegar and pour it in the top. Now, let the food into the stomach. Ooh, we can see the gas. Gas is coming out of the stomach, but it can't escape the closed valve at the top of the esophagus. If you can't burp, it means that none of the gas can escape upwards, and so it builds up in the stomach. You would be getting very uncomfortable right now if that was your real stomach. Zan, I'm going to add more blue vinegar. Chris, it wasn't designed to withstand this kind of pressure. More gas means more pressure. Here he goes. Oh, Zan. Oh, here we go. It's gonna go! No! Ah! 
Wow! <laughs> that was amazing! So we've shown you where the burping noise comes from and how important burps are for getting rid of unwanted gases. Now, my fake stomach here has exploded, but don't worry, if you don't burp, you won't actually explode. You might feel a bit bloated and uncomfortable, but eventually the gas goes through your intestines and you pass it out the other end. Ouch.